Hello, hello. Song requests is on if you want to put any of your own Christmas music on. Hi, Shiny. <laughs> How you doing, Shiny? I have a little bit of a cold, so I am wrapped up warm at the moment. Nice. I still need to catch up with Pokemon Violet. I'll be doing that during my days off next week. I have not even done the first gym in it or anything. Your 30th? That's crazy. <gasps> Hi, Kelly. First. Betch. We'll sit in Chile for a bit until a few more people turn up and then we shall start the quiz. I've sat wearing my hoodie at the while because it's cold in my room. <gasps> you seen the the recent update, so the the follower emotes, which I've got as like my Christmas ones. You can now use those anywhere if you're subscribed. Like any channel you are subscribed to, you can use their follower emotes anywhere. It's a good update. Oh, Kelly, did I tell you all the stupid shit we went through to get that parcel sorted? Or I did. And it turned out to be Bart's Christmas present as well. Stupid thing. Yeah, 
so I contacted so for those who don't know uh my mom was looking at uh saw me tagged in a post on a Facebook page well not even tagged actually just saw my name on it and had a look and went what the hell's this so it turns out our, our local courier is supposed to be delivering parcels for I guess say the company for every used to be called Hermes if you're from the UK you'll recognize that name um basically she didn't like driving on snow or ice or anything like that so had just taken the parcel and dumped it at a local bar so which marked the parcel is delivered as well so on the tracking when i looked at it it says delivered to our house don't say anything about it being left anywhere nothing like that so obviously i wasn't happy because i have no idea where this place is or I have a vague idea where it is, I should say. But I'm not on the Facebook page or anything. I'm not tagged in it or anything. So I would not know. Like, if it hadn't have been for my mum just stumbling across that page, we'd have never known my parcel was there. So I had actually, before my mum even told me about that, I'd raised it as a missing parcel with the person I bought it off. Saying, yeah, this shows is delivered and it's definitely not at my house. So the uh, person I bought the parcel off put it through as a missing parcel claim with Every. And I got asked to review the delivery by Every after I found out. So I gave them a. I did something a bit mean. I gave them a link to the, the page and said, yeah, your driver's not been delivering. She's just been dumping shit here. And gave them a link to the Facebook page saying it. So, turns out the guy who I ordered the item off has put it through as a missing parcel claim with every, and they've he, they've refunded him. So he gave me the money back for the item. So it's no loss for me or him. It's just the couriers who have lost out now because they've had to pay out for it being a missing parcel. Because they contacted the driver and she admitted that, no, it's not been delivered to the actual address. It's not there. So she's going to get a lot of shit for that because there were a load of parcels, apparently, where she's supposed to have delivered them to addresses, didn't want to drive on ice or anything. Uh, she will, Kelly. She didn't want to drive on the ice or anything, didn't want to spend her time doing it, so left it at this place without any permission or anything we'd not said anywhere like leave my parcel with a neighbor or whatever even though it's not a neighbor but yeah uh she'd left dozens of parcels there and this person was just posting on her facebook page saying uh these people's parcels are at my bar come and pick it up she couldn't even tag most of them because most of them she didn't know well i found out through pure luck but yeah i've sent all the details to every sent them snips and a link to the page and stuff like that but yeah I, I explained like I, I've dealt with every through work so I know what kind of stuff they expect I know she's gone across against every policy they have hi Bart so yeah it, it's, it's probably not going to be a driver there much longer considering the number of parcels that were left and it's happened on more than one occasion. But now I have Bart's Christmas present. So I can send it in the next few days. So I have the parcel now. It's behind me there somewhere. With Bart's Christmas present in it. Right. Shall we get on with the quiz then? There's a few people here. <gasps> it's alright, I probably won't be posting it until... Like... Or even organising it till like next week. So I will turn the music down a little bit. And... We shall start quiz time.
I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. I think... Oh, I just need to cheat. Grab this. Boom. Just put you on here as well. Ooh, yeah. So, I think the best way to do it. No, Greg, you're in time. You're just in time. I was just having a little rant about stupid parcel I was waiting for. So, I think the best way to do this is... You all message me on Discord with your answers. So there's five rounds. You get like a point for every correct answer. So I'll tell you what, you guys DM me your uh... yes part. Thank you. <gasps> you will have to type quick then, won't you, Manu? I'm going to leave the rounds up for a bit because it's so you have time to do them. No, 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 Dave, you're not late yet. You're here in time. We've not started yet. So I'm just trying to work out the best way to do the questions and stuff to get you guys to send me your answers. Is to either, like, DM them to me. I'll say Bart can send your answer. If you and Bart want to be a team, that's fine. You can... I'll just add it to the collection, Dave. That's all I'll do. So, yeah. I will put the questions up, the stuff that you've got to work out. And you just DM me your answers on on Discord or on Messenger or something. I know we'll go through them all and get the, like, the winner at the end because I have all the answers. So, round one. It's going to be named that game. So I've got... Blah, 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 to you as well, Greg. So at round one, I've got screenshots from some popular games. And... I just want you to tell me what games they are. So I'll just double check how many there actually are. There are ten games for you to guess here. Worth one point each. And if the game is one in a series, you need to tell me which one in that series is. So I'll say for example, there's not an Assassin's Creed game in there, so I can say that. But if it's an Assassin's Creed game, you need to tell me which one it is. So you're going to say if it's like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or if it's Assassin's Creed Origins, you won't get away with just Assassin's Creed. <gasps> well, the rounds will be running for a while, Kelly, so you'll, you'll have plenty of time. So, if you're all ready, I will start round one. Hello? Here's all the screenshots, you just need to tell me which game it, games they are. Do. So there's the first one. This was a really popular game this year. Where's your second? That's a bit more obscure. Some of these will be a lot easier than others as well. But yeah, it's going to cycle through multiple times, so you'll have multiple chances to see each screenshot. And if there's any that you all get stuck on, I will let you have, I'm going to say one hint per round. So I'll give you a hint per round on what one of the answers are. And these are all different games, Kelly. Yeah, there's ten different games for you to guess. 
But yeah, I, uh, you have to be exact with your answers as well. Threat right, Kelly, it's going to cycle through multiple times, so. And some of them, like I said, are much more difficult than others. But yeah, cycling through a second time so you can check your answers and stuff. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Bart didn't know one. If you want, Kelly, you can send me the things on Messenger or something. Oh, you sent it me on Discord. Christmas Dad. Hi. Hi, Christmas Dad. <laughs> so <laughs> you can add that's why I'm leaving it rut cycling through I say, bottom accents, say this phrase out loud. Earn, mm. earn, and earn, earn. <laughs> Hold on, my. Earn, earn. Aaron, earn, <laughs> and I earn, earn. Kerskia just resubscribed for 15 months. Thank you, Kelly. So, I'm going to let it cycle through a little bit while you're guessing. I say, bottom accents, say this phrase out loud. Mm. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. <laughs> Hold on, my. Earn, earn. <laughs> Aaron, earn, <laughs> and I earn, earn. Kerskia gifted Haggard underscore by Jingo a subscription. Kerskia gifted a tier one sub to Haggard underscore by Jingo. I'm just looking They at have all given your 13 there. gift subs in the channel. Ooh, some of you are doing well.
Greggy, are you playing? Have you sent me your answers or am I just being ignorant? Soon, 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 soon. Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! Friend! Oh, friend! Please be my friend! Thank you for the following. Oh, friend! My spoily Jeffy Medilebu is now following. <laughs> I love the way it said that, Anna. Moist jelly of my friend Medilebu. Soon, soon. Oh, it has been years since I've heard this song. <laughs> right, I'm going to lock it in. You've got another 50 seconds to lock your answers in. And then I'll move on to the next round. Or, do you want me to give you the answers before we do the next round? Yeah, we'll do the answers and then do the next round. Sent. Let's see. Ooh. So some of you will lock it all in now. Some of you got ones that other ones didn't. So it's all locked in now, no more answers. So I'll wait it gets wait until it gets back around to the beginning and I'll tell you what they all are. But I'm not going to tell you the scores. I'm not going to tell you how well people have done. <sighs> Kelly will do that. <laughs> Poor Kelly. <laughs> Poor Greg. Hi, Katie. I thought Katie would be helping Dave, but I should have known better. Right, so it's going to cycle around to the start in a second. And I'll tell you what they all are. So you can work out yourselves how well you did. So this first one, this one's Elden Ring. This is uh, the bottom of Stormvale Castle. Oh so yeah, this is Elden Ring. The second one, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You can just see the little church and one of the towers on the right hand side. This one, Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is the heavy ball. The nice close up of it. Make it nice and confusing for you. This one is Neon White. It's an obscure game, but a really good one. I've seen a few people playing it and I've played it myself. This one is Tiny Tina's Wonderland, the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Borderland game that they made. So yeah, this is one of the first bosses in it. Uh, this one is Scorn. So this is one of the, like right at the beginning of Scorn. So this might have been easier to guess from the, uh, the artwork. This one is Metal Hellsinger. So this is one of the angels in Metal Hellsinger and the... Uh, the two bird boomerang weapons that I liked. This one is a Plague Tale Requiem. This was a difficult one. I don't think any of you got this one. Now this one, only I think only Greg got this one. This one's the quarry. This is right at the beginning of the game where they're all sat around the campfire insulting each other. And the last one, this is Super Mario World, the SNES game. Did you probably get that one as well? I will double check. Oh yeah, you did get the quarry. It was the other one that you didn't get. 
Yeah, you did get that. I counted that one. But yeah, Kelly, you at least got one. But yeah, that last one is Super Mario World, the uh, SNES game. And my favourite Mario game. Alright, we'll move on to round two. So, here's where it starts to get a bit more difficult. If it wasn't difficult enough for you already. Round two is Steam Reviews. I have screenshotted some Steam reviews of games. And you need to work out what game it is from the review. <laughs> I expect this to be very difficult. <laughs> but I thought this would be a fun one. So I will start it rolling for you. So could you pick up this box and drop it three meters away please? 26 hours game times later, every NPC is starting. I've done five quests where I'm feeding indigenous populations of X place. And at least I have my... So, love this game, lost my girlfriend, my job, my dignity, but at least I have my rock. So this one, uh, this game is one with an extremely entitled toxic fan base who doesn't give a single care for other players in the game. The gameplay will get repetitive and solo queue. Right, what I'll do is I will slow these down. Um, time between slides. Change you to... That. Right, I'm going to extend the time that these are on scene. So yeah, some of these you might be able to guess just from what it says. So, could you pick up this box and drop it three metres away, please? 26 hours later, every NPC is starving. I've done five quests around feeding indigenous populations of place. I've put this on my CV and applied to be a volunteer at UNICEF. I fly out on Friday. So yeah, these will be on screen longer now. Make it a bit easier for you. This person played this for 115 hours before he uh, reviewed it. <coughs> so, second one. Love this game. Lost my girlfriend, my job, my dignity, but at least I have my rock. So 1,436 hours on record. That's great. And yeah, last round, Bart and Manu missed Elden Ring. But even Kelly got it. So Bart and Manu are the noobs now. It's the way it works. That's the way it works. So, third review. I hate this game. This game is one with an extremely entitled toxic fan base who does not give a single care for the other players in the game. The gameplay loop will get repetitive and solo queue is one of the most frustrating experiences you will ever have. Unless you're going to be surviving with friends, prepare, to prepare yourself to be railed time and time again by either your teammates or the opposition. So, 369.9 hours on record. He hates the game. So it ain't much, but it's honest work. So that one is a little bit of a uh, a quote.
to this one. Zero hours in the past two weeks. 60 hours on record. 29.4 hours at review time. I got laid for the first time. Sadly, it was a video game. This review popped up in articles everywhere. So, is it weird that I have more fun cleaning someone else's house than my own bedroom? So, zero hours in the past two weeks, 38 hours on record. So, I do love these reviews. Some of them are great. <laughs> I said they'd be more difficult. So right, the next round will be much easier for you. Maybe, maybe. Okay, this one should be much easier for everybody. Cat of the Year. I said this round to be more difficult, Dave. <laughs> so the next one depend will depend upon how much you know about the game. So, game is not recommended. 15.5 hours. He still played 138 hours of that game. Added a really cool feature to the game where you get flashed, it sends you back to your desktop. 10 out of 10 for realism. So this person gave it a not recommended review, still played for 137.8 hours. <laughs> Possibly, Beth. Possibly. How are you doing, Beth? There you go. This one's a bit easier for people. Pros. Loba's bot. Cons. Terrible service. 8 out of 10. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm still coughing a bit, but it's not so bad at the moment. Loba. Bart, you're terrible. <laughs> and final review is just boy. Boy. Right. So, get your answers locked in. So you're going to start totting up your points after this one goes. <gasps> Dave. Terrible.
<laughs> right, I'm going to toss up your points now. Let's see how you've done. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, how's Kelly done on this one? Let's have a look at Kelly's. <gasps> I would not have expected you to get that one, Kelly. Right. Dave, let's have a look at Dave's answers. Ooh. Right, toss up Greg's answers. Greg, 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 what have we got? Right, I've totted up your points, so I'll tell you what they all are now. I'll just tell it to reset. <gasps> you monster, Beth. So this first one, can you pick up this box, drop it three meters away? Every NPC is starving, feeding the indigenous population, put it on my CV and invite to UNICEF. This is Lost Ark. So yeah, this was a review for Lost Ark. <laughs> yeah it's the everybody starving bit was uh the only real clue to it because everybody's always starving in that game 99 percent of the quests in it are to bring people food <gasps> not allowed lost ark in dutchy land so So I love this game. Lost my girlfriend, my job, my dignity, but at least I have my rock. This is Rust. Because everybody starts with a rock. It's alright, Greg. So yeah, a couple of you got this. It's Rust. Because everybody loves the rock. <gasps> you should ask Brina about Lost Ark, Kelly. And Dave, I counted your answer for the next one before you complain about it. So, I hate this game. This game is one with an extremely entitled toxic fan base who does not give a single care for other players in the game. The gameplay loop will get repetitive and solo queue is one of the most frustrating experiences you will ever have. Unless you're going to be surviving with friends, there's your clue. Prepare yourself to be railed, railed time and time again by either your teammates or the opposition. This was Dead by Daylight. And so we got one more videos. Yep, Dead by Daylight, Toxic Fan Base, Solo Queue, Surviving. Yeah, going to be surviving with friends, that was the big clue for that one. Ha <laughs> ha
So this one, a couple of you actually got this, which I was surprised at. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Farming Simulator. Yeah, you can guess who got that. <laughs> A shame. Join does missed quiz. Manu and Bart are uh, flashing their stuff because they've managed to get some stuff people others didn't. You did get some, Kel. So this one, this one I was surprised at. And Kelly, you did get this one. I got laid for the first time and sadly it was a video game. It was Cyberpunk. It's so the one th one of the things that game was famous for, apart from being broken, was you can get laid in it. And yeah, Kelly, this is one of the ones you got a point for. You guessed this one. Although Brina would have probably shouted at you if you got it wrong, because there's so much Carpenter Brook music in that game. Oh. Cyberpunk was among, amongst your answers, so it counts. <laughs> so this one. Is it weird that I have more fun cleaning someone else's house than my own bedroom? This was House Flipper. Some of you put Power Washer. It wasn't Power Washer. It's House Flipper, unfortunately. This is another one that you got, Kel. Yeah, I saw Manu. I saw you and Bart put power wash. Oh, no. I thought out of everybody, you would be the two to get it. But So, cat of the year. Almost everybody got this one. Stray. Of course, it's going to be Stray. With over 1 billion meows from the PlayStation statistics the other day. Yeah, the most famous cat game of the year. Probably most famous cat game ever. <gasps> Katie giving you answers. I might have to disqualify you then, Dave. Can't have Katie giving you answers. <laughs> Unlucky Greg. So, not recommended. Added a cool feature to the game where you get flashed, it sends you back to your desktop. 10 out of 10 for realism. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Had a famous bug when it first came out where flashbangs would cra crash your opponent's game. So you could clear out entire lobbies by whizzing a flashbang at the start. So I'm not sure if anybody got this, to be honest. A few of your people had similar guesses, but... Yeah, this one was uh, Modern Warfare 2. So this one, Loba's butt is the pro, cons, terrible servers, was Apex Legends. Most of you could have just googled Loba to find that out. Greenleaf. I have watched a couple of Greenleaf streams. So yeah, this one was Apex Legends. And then the last one... I think everybody. <laughs> so yeah, the the last one I think everybody got. If they didn't know it, Dave helped. 
Last one was, yeah, of course, God of War with Boy. Boy. There you go. Right. Round three. Boo. So round three is characters. So lots of games have their own Christmas events. I've got captures of characters from those games. I want you to tell me the game from the character. There's only five. And this is one of the easier rounds, or I think it is anyway. So... Let's have a look. Let's see how many you can guess. <laughs> Judah. So yeah, these are all big games as well. I've not picked anything obscure. So they shouldn't be too bad for you to guess. Maybe only the artwork could give you a bit of a stumble. <laughs> I think Manu's got these, hasn't she? <laughs> so I'll let it run through a couple of times so you can get your guesses in but this one should be much easier for you maybe, maybe We'll have to wait and see what we do. Here we go. So yeah, this is an easier one, so I'm only going to give you a couple more minutes to get your answers and everything in. Here we go. <gasps> <laughs> I like your answers, Kel. Oh, there was only Kelly who didn't guess them all, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. So... <laughs> party so first one this is animal crossing animal crossing new horizons so everybody got this one so second one this is fortnite you need to put exclamation mark sr katie and this third one is destiny destiny 2 specifically 
So everybody got those ones. So this one is World of Warcraft. So yeah, this is the Christmas tree in World of Warcraft. And you can actually open those presents at Christmas. And then this one is Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy Online. Or Final Fantasy XIV. It's changed its name a couple of times. So yeah. Animal Crossing. So yeah, we had Animal Crossing, Fortnite, Destiny 2, World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy. So round four, I've realised is just going to be a uh, who can Google these the fastest round. So get yourselves ready. Are you ready? Of course people Google. Because this last round has nothing to do with games. It's just general Christmas stuff. So... You ready? You ready? Boom. Crimmins round the world. So, question one. Where is it common to have KFC on Christmas Day? There's one place in the world where this is really common. <laughs> Not Norway, at least. Poor Greg. Uh, number two, which country is credited with inventing the tradition of Christmas trees? So yeah, Christmas trees common around the world now, but tradition only originated in the first country. Three, what is Santa's postcode? So... Santa does have a deliverable address in Canada. What is his postcode at that address? <laughs> uh, number four. How many people are injured putting up decorations in the US each year? I did have a look at other countries, but the US is where it's most recorded and i'll give it to you if you get it within a thousand so yeah it's more than a thousand so yeah i did have a look at statistics for like the uk and a few other places but this is the only place one that's uh recognized <laughs> And then number five, which Christmas song was the first ever song played in space? So first time somebody went into place, space and played a song, it was a Christmas song. What Christmas song was it? Uh, like I said, this is gonna. Be, this was more of a. Uh, how well can you Google these things? So while you guys are locking in your answers, I'm gonna nip to the loo.
Oh, has Greg been cheating? Greg, how could you? Right. I've locked these in now, so let's see what you've got. Right. Ooh, some interesting answers. Right, got your answers locked in. So, the answers to them, in case you're wondering. I'm sure Manu and Katie knew this first one. It is common to have KFC on Christmas Day in Japan. They, in fact, have, like, it's a amazingly well-done marketing campaign by KFC. And they managed to promote getting... Uh, KFC delivered to your house for, or picking it up on Christmas Day. And yeah, it is massively popular to the point that people have to order months in advance. Like people start ordering and getting their orders in on like September. So, number two. <laughs> yeah, well done to the Weeb Girls. <laughs> yeah, they even have a, like a special Christmas menu and everything. So yeah, number two, which country is credited with inventing Christmas trees is Germany. Tradition started in Germany where they would sometimes make them out of wood before they actually, like, actually brought in trees and they used to originally put candles on them rather than any other decorations. So yeah, they, uh, Candles, originally trees, came from Germany, putting candles on them, and that was the original tradition, spread from there. And in case of your, any of you are wondering as well, the tradition of tinsel comes from the Ukraine. Because it comes from an old, like, folk story in Ukraine about a spider spinning webs on a tree to decorate it. And that's where we get the idea for tinsel from. So number three... Santa has a postcode in Canada. What is the postcode? I don't think anybody got this one. He has a valid postcode. And that is it. Ho, ho, ho. Is Santa's postcode in Canada. Ho, ho, ho. So, at number four. Nobody got within a thousand of this. A couple of you are really close. Approximately 15,000 people a year are injured putting up decorations in the US. A couple of people were really close. Dave. Question says US postcode. Uh, it says, uh, what is Santa's postcode? Santa doesn't live in the UK. Lives in Lapland, which is part of Canada. It's part of the North Pole. Yeah, I put that one in as a bit of a swerve because I knew you'd go for the UK one. 
So yeah, approximately 15,000 people <laughs> a year are injured in the US just putting up Christmas decorations. And number five, the first Chris which Christmas song was the first song played in space? It was Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells was the first ever song played in space for a uh, Christmas mission that went up there on Christmas Eve. So yeah, some of you need to improve your Googling skills. But yeah, otherwise, you all did all right. <laughs> right, final round. Final round is only one question. And... See how much attention you've been paying. Because it is something I've talked about a couple of times previously. So, our final round. What was the first ever game I streamed on Twitch? Not the first one I was prepared for. Not the first one I had a setup and everything for. What was the first ever game I streamed on Twitch? And um, I can tell you Manu's answer is wrong. There were two games I streamed before that. Ball Guys was the one, the first game I did with a proper setup. I have streamed twice before then. And some of you in chat were there for it. <laughs> it was wrong, it was wrong. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to... uh. Rack your brain and see if you can work out what it was. But yeah, not the first game I streamed with a proper setup or anything. With alerts and all that. It was the first game I ever streamed. It wasn't when we were on Xbox, Dave. My first stream I did from my PC. And it was in the last couple of years. I'm going to have a look now, see what people put. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> right, I can tell you only one person's got it. So you got 30 seconds. Any of you want to change your mind or anything? So yeah, you, you remember me doing it, Kelly, but can you remember what it was that I streamed? Right. Time's up. I can tell you only one person got it right. And it was Greg. Greg got it. Couple of you got one of my earliest streams, but not the first thing I actually ever streamed on Twitch. First thing I ever actually streamed on Twitch was Among Us when we were playing with Manu and Bart and the rest of my guild on World of Warcraft. Like, one of my ones with starting to get set up was Two Point Hospital. Twitch tracker is wrong.
<laughs> so I'm looking at the games now where it says the games that I've streamed. So <laughs> I want to know where you saw it on on Twitch Tracker as well now. Yeah, Manu, it was before we properly met. So it was when the guild was dragging people in to uh, play Among Us, and it was like one of the first things that I... It was this channel. I've only ever had this channel. <laughs> ah, both on the same day. Yeah, I played Fall Guys and Among Us on the same day. Yeah, the first thing I actually ever streamed was uh was Among Us. And I did for I did Fall Guys pretty much the same day. Anyway, I will top the points to see who the winner is. I think the winner is by a large amount as well. So we'll see who it is. Oh wow, so we got a tiebreaker. Um, yeah, we got a tiebreaker. So I'm not going to tell you who the tiebreaker is for because I want to send you all running. Um, what should we do?
can't do chess boxing. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm going to ask you a question. In fact, I'm going to ask you a marine biology question because it'd be funny. And the first person from the tie-breaking who posts the answer in chat will be the winner. So you get a marine biology question to do just because it'd be funny for me. So... So you all know what animals I like. I, I like squid, I like octopuses. And there are lots of different species for these things. So there is The way things are categorised, you have, from top to bottom, you have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. I need you to post in chat what genus the Dumbo octopus falls under. So not species, what genus the Dumbo octopus falls under. So you've got kingdoms, animalia, phylum is mollusca, class is cephalopoda, order is octopoda, family is apistotuthidae. You need to post what genus it is. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, Jamie posted it first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Grimpachuthis is the uh the genus for Dumbo octopus. So there's a few different species of Dumbo octopus. But yeah, Jammy posted it first and then Dave got it. So Dave, you won the tiebreaker. Both you, Manu and Bar and Greg all got the same amount of points. Yeah. Yeah, Manu learned about it. So like how the different species and everything are are classified so it goes down in layers so you got animalia because they're all animals you got mollusca because they're a kind of mollusk <laughs> so dave yeah so points 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 so dave greg and manu and bart as a team all got 19 points so that's why there was a tiebreaker. It was a three-way tiebreaker between you three. And Kelly, you got ten points. So Dave, your prize. It is the same prize I've done for something before. You can pick any game. So any one game. On Steam. On Xbox. Or on PlayStation. And I will get you that game as the prize so you can post it in chat what game you want or you can send me a message if you want to use it privately but your prize is I will get you any one game for Steam for Playstation or for Xbox just tell me what you want um, say up to 50 quid just pick what you want 
I will extend that to like game time as well. So if you want game time from MMO or something, I'll get you that. Ooh, yeah, send me a message of what you want. Have a look around. But that's your prize for winning the Christmas stream, Dave. I <gasps> said, bottom accent, say this phrase out loud. Earn, mm. earn, and earn, earn. Wow. Earn, earn. Aaron, earn, and I earn, earn. Anonymous gifted Beth says one a subscription. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Beth says one. I, I was going to say all of them now, isn't it? Say this phrase out loud. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. Anonymous. Hold on, my. Earn, earn. Aaron, earn, and I earn, earn. Anonymous gifted Crazy Winnie Lady a subscription. An Beth anonymous a user gifted a Danny tier one a sub to Crazy Wine Lady. Cherry got a sub. I say, bottom accent. Shane got a sub. Cherry got a sub. Earn, earn, nice. and earn, earn. Thank you, Manu. Earn, earn. We all know. Aaron, it'll, uh, earn, and I earn, earn. Crazy Winnie Lady. Anonymous gifted Dark <laughs> underscore Sherry a subscription. An anonymous yeah, user you, gifted you a tier one sub Manu, to Dark right? underscore Sherry. Anonymous gifts default say, to you if we don't know Bottom accent, say this phrase out loud. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. Hold on, my earn, earn. Aaron, earn, and I earn, earn. Yeah, but anonymous that's the rule. Gifted Even if it's not you, it's an anonymous you. you. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Shinesmoki. I say, bottom accent, say this phrase out loud. <laughs> earn, earn, and earn, earn. Oh, chiller nine one one. I know who that earn. is. <laughs> Aaron, earn, and I earn, earn. Anonymous gifted Chiller 911 a subscription. An anonymous user gifted a tier 1 sub to Chiller 911. Yeah, so Chiller 911 is uh, my mate Ahmed from work. Yeah, Beth, if you're still listening, Ahmed follows me on Twitch. Ah, oh. Yeah, it's, uh, thank you whoever it was who gifted those five subs, you're very kind. I will blame Manu for it, but I trust that it's not her because she is skint. <laughs> so yeah, that's literally all that I had planned for this stream. Um play a community game or something if you want off i got let's have a look see what i have steam yes thank you for gifting the subs what do we have here we've got I know what we could play. Or make sure this works. It does. We shall play some Kokoro, shall we? Uh, was the the game bit? Ah, I forgot to put it in. Right. Um, give me a second. There we go. And we shall move this around a little bit because I am a professional. Wah.
It's this game. That was the wrong button. There. Put the camera here. We'll uh, hide this bit. And we shall get this. We'll put you over here. Whoosh. Yeah, so we will dick around on Kokoro for a little bit. See, I am a professional. I am know what I'm doing. I am good at this. Right, so. Games. What games do we have for? Whip. So if you want to join, just type exclamation mark Kokoro in chat. And this is like the training bit that it'll drop you into. It's got a U in it. Like Manu did. I'll tell you what, I'll move chat so you can see the commands. Didn't realise it was there. Pew. There. <laughs> so yeah this is just the training bit but there is actual like games that we can play on it <gasps> to 93k how about no but I'll put a bet on the you're fighting a dummy Kelly So I'll, uh, right. so the games we have for it, there's a lot of games for this. Dungeon Raid is the most popular for it, so we'll have a do at this first. So yeah, this one, we fight against monsters and bosses, and you all got get abilities. So if you type exclamation mark Kokoro, it will put you into the game. Chat box is a bit big. You can go down there. And now, if you do exclamation mark get info, it will tell you what abilities you have. So if I do it, it tells me I do one and a half times damage against slimes, and dodging against slimes increases my chance to crit. Yeah, of course you got two heads, Katie. So you guys remember what stats and stuff you've got because I will forget in a second. Man, we're good against ske skeleton. So what we can do is when I start this, we will have little minions to fight that will lead up to a boss fight and if you do exclamation mark jump you'll start jumping on the screen which is you volunteering to do that round or you could do exclamation mark vote and get somebody else in to do it 
that ultimately I pick. So we shall start. See what we're up against first. So up first we have a skeleton who wants to fight the skeleton. So if you don't want to fight it, you can put hide to stop yourself jumping, but Manu said she's good against skeletons. Bart is jumping. Dave is still jumping. Shall I put Manu in? We'll put Manu in. Manu fight the skeleton and don't die. Uh. Oh, Manu. Get him. Get him. <gasps> he dodged. No. Yeah, Manu killed the skeleton. Right, we have a mucus. A mucus is a kind of slime. Like, who? who's good against slimes? Anybody? Katie's good against slimes. Let's get Katie in then. Katie, 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 let's go. Oh, look at them crits. Bam, she ruined that slime. <gasps> whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Greg is saying he's good against trolls. Does anybody else want to fight the trolls? I, I know Greg kind of like trolls at this game, so. Is it just Greg? Should we send Greg in? Right, Greg versus the troll it is then. Attack. Oh, Greg going for the big crits as well. Oh. Greg, no! Greg, dead. Right. Sorry, Greg, you lost a fight to the troll. No, oh, poor Greg. Um, Who wants to go in? Bart? Bart? We'll send Bart in against the troll to finish it off. Troll dead. Right, we have a wyvern. A wyvern's a kind of dragon. Who's good against dragons and stuff? Anybody good against dragons? Katie's hiding. Dave good against dragons. Katie just... Kelly's good against dragons. We'll send Kelly in against the dragon, shall we? Come on, Kelly. Get him. Um. Ooh. Nice crit. Almost. No. Oh, he crit and got her. Unlucky. Poor Kelly. We're Kelly down as well. Do you want to go in, Dave? We'll send Dave in to finish it off. There. So we got another dragon. He wants to go against this dragon. Anybody? What's this I've got in the book? Is it just him for? Yeah. Bart. We'll send Bart in against the dragon. Let's do it. Dodge. Ooh. Go for the crits. Get him, Bart. Get him. No, he crit Bart. <gasps> Winner. Just. Yeah, you're dead, Kelly. We got another dragon. Right, who wants to go against this one? I'm gonna. I could sacrifice Bart and let Bart try and take some off. Or is there anybody else who wants to volunteer? 
and then we have the big boss. Dave? Dave going to go in against the dragon? Right, let's do it. Because if Dave wins, anybody else who is injured gets healed a bit. Dave sacrificing himself? Right, I'm fine with that. Oh, a couple of good crits at the start. Ooh, Dave's dead. Poor Dave. Right, who's up for the next sacrifice? Who's dying next? Anybody? Bart. We'll throw Bart in for his little bit of health. Go, Bart. Ooh, Manu's good against the boss. Right, we'll save Manu for the skeleton boss then. We'll get Kitty in. Oh, he crit on Katie. Two crits on Katie. No. Right. Sending myself in. We'll save Manu for the boss. Right. Is it better that I put you in first or second, Manu? Because sometimes with these it only works like if it's your first go against the boss. But yeah, Manu is the boss, we know that, but for fighting other bosses, is it better that she goes in first or should I wear it down a bit? Because some of them are like, you do extra damage for the first hit against the boss, or should put you in second, right. I will go first then. Oh, you crit me. dodged Ooh, right it's all on you Manu everybody pray get your hands ready see if Manu can do it you've got about two thirds of its health left maybe a little less get it Manu what a dodge oh that crit no! No, so close. Oh, it was only because it got that lucky crit on you. If it hadn't have crit then at the end, you'd have won. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Right, should we have another round? We almost got it. We almost got it. Rump. Right, it's a big skeleton again. So, Kokoro to gain, join again. And then get info because you'll have new abilities now. So, grab your stats, see what you're good against. See, Dave, this is like D&D, &D, but the players don't argue, so stuff actually gets done. It's amazing. Right, everybody in who wants to join. <laughs> uh, sometimes you get shit abilities, sometimes you get great ones. Right, we'll begin, shall we? First monster is... Skeleton! Anybody good against skeletons? What was I? Was I slimes? Yeah. Quick sacrifice Davy's abilities for shit. If there's somebody good against skeletons, I'll use them first. Otherwise, uh... I'll send Dave in as a sacrifice. I'll heal trolls if I hit them. No, I don't want that. Right, we'll send Dave in as a sacrifice. Ooh. 
Yay, Davy survived. Right, slime. I will fight the slime because I am good against them. Hopefully if they run on crits. Oh, so you've got the runaway on crit ability. That's actually decent, Dave. Because then we can swap somebody else in to go against you. So, I will fight. Stupid slime. Yeah, correct. We're good an orc. Is anybody good against orcs? Anybody at all? Katie good against orcs? It's trolls for bar. Right, we'll send Katie in then. Katie's got two heads. I am well informed that two heads are better than one, so. Oh, oh, you're doing quite well. Got him. Right, we got another slime. <laughs> Oi, Katie, I'm a Gemini. Or I was last time I test checked. If we get another orc, Kelly, I'll send you in against it. But I am good against slime, so I will do the slime. We're doing better this time. Boom. We got another slime. Should I sacrifice myself? Because my abilities are only good against slimes. Unless there's anybody else good against slimes who wants to have a do. No, right me then. I will sacrifice myself in glory. You ready? Boom. Right, who wants to finish it off? Ciao, Bella, ciao, ciao. <laughs> who wants to finish off the slime? He wants to give it a go. If nobody decides, I'll throw David at it. Right. Bart. Let's do it, Bart. Right. Who was good against the skeleton? Who said they were good against the skeleton? Offer you up first. Offer Bart up first. Right, we'll send Bart in. As a sacrifice. Well done, Bart. We can send Dave in. Dave will free fee crit, flee fee crits. Do we not? Or do we actually not have anybody good against skeletons? Right. We'll send Dave in, see if Dave runs away when he crits. Trust you to get the expeditious retreat ability, Dave. Kelly wants to fight. Right, we'll send Kelly in then. We've got Manu and Katie left. Katie might heal up from Kelly fighting, actually. Unless Kelly's trolled us and she's got one of those like debuff abilities if she dies. Oh. Right. Katie, Manu, it's on you two who wants to go in first. Me, me, Katie going in first. Go for it, Katie. Get him. We did it! Winner! We were successful! Hi, Luda!
We have done the quiz, so we are playing some Kokoro. If you would like to join us. And how are you doing, Luda? Right, should we do another one? See if we can win again. See if Katie and Manu can save the day. <gasps> alpha Troll. It's Bart. Bart the Alpha Troll. Kokoro again to join. Who is sending me messages? <laughs> We've got a Luda. Find the game. I'm getting you. What is it, Dave? Post it in chat if you want. And yeah, exclamation mark Kokoro for anybody else who wants to join. Oh, I thought it might be that. <laughs> On PlayStation, PS5. I will get it you. I will see if I can get a code for it. If not, I will get you the actual disc. Because I know the disc has a uh, fancy picture of... Is it Zach on the front of it? So we got Katie, Luda, Bart, Kelly, me, Manu. You joining us, Dave? Dave's joining as well. Ooh. So Right. Right, 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 right. Let's go. First enemy is a wyvern. It's a kind of dragon. Who wants to fight as a dragon? Oh, this is a twisted sister. It's just got the stupid intro at the beginning of it. Manu. Is Manu good against dragons? Dragon these nuts across your face. <laughs> Go on, Manu, get him. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Them crits. Survived by the skin of your teeth. Right, who good against trolls? Katie good against trolls. Bart good against trolls. We'll put Katie in because Katie get Katie jumped first. Well, oh, Katie defeats the troll. Oh, so close. Right, we'll send Bart in. We'll sit. We'll keep Kelly in reserve for the next troll. Rah. Got a slime. Anybody good against slimes? I know I'm good against slimes, but... Anybody else? <gasps> if you type get in for looter, it'll... Pop up again with your details. Luda and Dave at the moment. So Luda swaps health with slime. Um, probably better to send you in first. And if you happen to die, we'll use Dave. Because we don't want to put Luda in second and just put it back up to full health. So I think it's like percentage of health, not like the actual number. 
So if you have full health, you put it back to full health. So. Mucus. It's like moist. Right. Send Luda in. See how well he does. Oh, opening with a crit. And a dodge. Get him, Luda. Get him. No. No. Poor Luda. Right. I have slime stuff, so I'm going to get him. E. Poor Luda. Right. Just send me against this slime, see if I can survive it. Troll! Who wants to fight the troll? Anybody good against trolls? Poor Luda. <gasps> Kelly's good against trolls. And Bart. Alright, we'll send Kelly in because Kelly's not had a chance to fight yet. Plus, it's funnier if Kelly dies. Oh, crit. Two crits and a dodge. Nice. <laughs> you survived. All right, skelly bones. Who's good at skelly bones? That's right, Kelly, you survived. It's fine. Ah, oh. oh, is it only if other people don't die, Dave? Oh, you get extra damage if they're not dead. Um, right. Seeing as this is the last one, who has good stuff against trolls? Because I'll send the other people in first. Bart good against trolls. Manu good against trolls. Right, we'll send Dave in. We'll sacrifice the Dave. So we just need to wear it down so we've got the people good against trolls at the end. <gasps> And I'll send me in, because I know I'm not good against trolls. Right. Yeah, I just want to hurt Dave. So troll. Troll, troll, troll. Bart, good against trolls. What do you do, Bart? We'll send Bart in first, shall we? Let's see how it goes. Oh. Took a decent chunk off. Alright, we'll send in Kelly to die because funny. There we go. Worth it. Right, uh, what do you do, Manu? Like, what abilities have you got? Dodging against enemy dragon, minus one when you miss against the skeleton. Oh, so that level minus one is against the skeleton, Manu. So if you miss a skeleton, their level goes down by one. Um, we'll send Manu in to fight so you can't wear it down a bit get him crit right last little bit of health Give 
Give me a crit. Yes. We did it. We got another win. Yeah, David, um, it auto skipped your song. Um, said it's basically not allowed. It does reject certain songs with certain lyrics and stuff. But although some of them it doesn't pick up at all for some reason. So like it, it doesn't pick up WAP, but it picked up that. Right, should we go another round? Another fight? We'll make this the last one, shall we? Because I want to go and get food. Oh, we get to fight a dragon. Yes. Get the true D&D &D experience and fight a dragon. Dragon. Uh, enemy orcs do less to me. Crit steal extra against orcs. So I'm decent against orcs. Anybody else want to join? Kelly, Dave, me, Bart, Manu, Katie. Right. Right, we'll go. Last round, we're going to fight a dragon. So... Trolls. Dave just said he's good against trolls, so... We'll put Dave in against the troll. Oh, crit. Nice. And a dodge. Get him, Dave. Another dodge. Got him. <gasps> Cyclops. What does Cyclops count as? Are you a giant or something? Does anybody have anything that mentions Cyclops or giant or anything similar? Katie, Katie and Kelly. Katie jumped first, so I'll put Katie in. Right, go for it, Katie. Stab him in his one. Wow, 50 opening crit. Nice. Get him. Wow, nice one, Katie. Got another one. All right, Kelly, you can have this one then. Oh, you reduced its crit, and you crit it yourself. Nice. Get him, Kelly. Oh, so close. Right. Who wants to go in next? Kelly has been sacrificed for the cause. Do, 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 Katie. Send Katie in as a sacrifice for the rest of it. Oh, he dropped his level down. Nice. Right, we have Orc. Who was good against Orc? Was it me? It was me. Right, I will fight the Orc then. You're a ball sack. Oh, yeah, screw that. Ah, check that out for a crit. Yeah, I do uh, triple damage on crits. Right, we've got another troll. Who wants the troll? Useless. Right, we'll send Bart in then. Bart can sacrifice himself for the cause. Ah, so close. Right. 
Dave as well then. We'll send Dave in. Boom. Right. Who's good against Dragon? Anybody? Or are we just going to have to try and wear it down? Or has anybody got any like funky abilities that might mess it up a bit? Meat shield you. Right, we'll send Manu in as the meat shield. Oh, Katie's got 100% crit chance if she's the last one alive. And it'll drop. Right, we'll send Katie in last. Definitely. So we'll send Manu in. Chip away at it. Oh, nice crit. Get it, Manu. So Katie, you will heal as well. If you can see your health is going up as we fight. Oh, Manu, nice. Chip away at it. I got a skin. I got an old man with a stick. Right. Well done, Manu. Almost soloed the boss. Right, we'll send Dave in because Dave will sacrifice himself for me like a good boy. Yeah, unfortunately you can't do get info after you're dead. So I will send me in. If I don't kill it, Katie can finish it off. Bastard. There you go, Katie. Your mission, should you should choose to accept it, is to get one pixel of damage. You ready? you got one pixel left to do. Winner! Perfect. Well done, everybody. We won. Right, that's me done, because I want to get food. But well done, everybody. We won. So I go to the stream ending thingy. <laughs> Oh, thank you for coming to my Christmas stream, everybody. It was fun. I enjoyed the quiz. Enjoyed playing Kokoro. And I get Davy's prize at some point. Yeah. I found this a while back, Manu. So, should we find somebody to raid? Who's online? Who is doing things? Twitch. Yes, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like doing streams like this. I might do another stream next week. Actually, before Christmas, I've not decided yet. It depends how bothered I can be, seeing as I have most of that time off work. So. So who is online? Tell you what, tell you we've not raided. Thank you for joining, Jamie. You are always welcome, Jamie. Tell you I've not raided in a very long time, usually because he's finished before I've before I have. Is he still on? Yes, he is. Right. I will see you all soon. I'm going to go and search for food. So thank you for the subs. Thank you for joining and doing the quiz and other stuff. And I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.